The word obsession encompasses the mindset of everyone at Mossy Oak. We obsess over hiding from, chasing, and conserving the critters we pursue. In this episode, we follow pro angler Kevin Van Dam as he tries to balance two of his obsessions, bass fishing and deer hunting. This is The Obsessed. I've been hunting and fishing my whole life, and you know, without a doubt, you know, fall is my favorite time of the year. The challenge for me is, is I love to do it all. You know, you can look around and see the, the leaves are falling, and we've already seen a couple flights of ducks. You know, it's it's mid-October now, and it's chilly this morning. I had a really one of the first frosts. And this is the time of year where, man, it's, it's tough for me because I'm really torn. Uh, you know, I love bass fishing, and this, you know, late fall bite is, is awesome. But the bucks are starting to scrape, and, you know, duck season just opened, and it's just a lot going on, and I love to do it all. And, you know, when you fish for a living, um, you know, hunting is kind of my, my second pastime. So these mornings like this, it's tough to choose what you're going to do, what you want to do. But... You know, water temperature is 55 degrees. It's just it's prime time, um, you know, especially where I live up here in Michigan to catch some some good fish. You know, the fish are biting, I hate to leave, but uh, I mean, it's getting up in the afternoon, we gotta get, get around them. I mean, this, that's the problem, is I wanna be in the deer woods and I wanna be catching these bass both, but we got this north wind blowing, definitely the deer should be moving tonight, so we gotta get ready to go. Well, we fished for a while earlier and um, you know, caught some really good bass, you know, but we had this strong north wind blowing we've got a cold front you know approaching it's mid-october it's kind of that october lull period normally but we've got a pretty good little setup over some uh, biologic uh, sugar beets and winter bulbs and the deer have just been hammering it on my property we've been working really hard uh, you know over the last 10 years to really manage it for all wildlife you know, we've really got it set up well for turkey for sure but everything's benefit. You know, this is a unique piece of property. I've got, you know, a trout stream on it. It's got salmon in it right now. Um, we've got a lot of turkey, a lot of deer. We've got some good bucks around. We've got cover, we've got food, and we've got the right weather. So we'll see what happens. I started deer hunting when I was 10 years old and that's what you had to be legally in Michigan at the time and uh, you know early on in my hunting career I learned about food plots and I was probably one of the first people in our area to do that to be able to um, acquire the piece of property that I did you know it's a place that I grew up as a kid with some of my very closest friends you know hunting and fishing on uh, I knew it was some a, a special place you know it's got streams and, and springs and you know salmon run right to the dam uh, on the pond and or right to where they can't swim any farther in these springs and you know, it's got big timber it's got swamp uh, it's got everything that a big deer likes to have but being able to spend time down here um, with the boys and, and with my family and that is is you know it's therapy for me I, I'm on the road a lot I have to travel a lot I've got a lot of pressure, 
you know, with the tournaments and, and sponsors and things like that. So this is, this is my, my fun place. To me, there's nothing better than, you know, getting down here on the tractor and, you know, getting the boys out there and, you know, spraying and, and doing the things we need. I mean, it, it is a year round process, something that we're always thinking about, always thinking about the next step and it never ends. You know, obsession to me is basically my lifestyle. You know, I've always had a passion for fishing and hunting. All year long, you know, I'm, I'm on the road fishing and things like that, and we're fitting in the food plotting and things like that. And that kind of, you know, during the summer months, that kind of takes second fiddle, you know, the hunting side. But as it gets closer to fall, the fishing kind of starts to take a back seat. And I'll tell you, when November gets here, um, I am just a, a hard person to be around. My wife will tell you that I change. You know, I think, you know, the whitetail rut goes on. Well, my neck gets swelled up too, and I just start uh, acting a lot crazier. And that's all I can think about is, you know, when's my next chance gonna be in a tree stand? It's so easy for me to take that obsession <laughs> to a level that I probably shouldn't. So it's great to have so many passions and, and, and to be truly obsessed like I am because there's no better place than to be out here. I'm Kevin Van Dam and I am obsessed.